Harrison, that was fantastic. That's all right, Bob. I just hope you never have to do it in a real fire. Bob Grant, you are hereby enrolled as a member of Bramley Junior Fire Brigade, and I award you this badge. Hooray! Hooray! Hey, thanks, Chris. What about us? Are we members too? Of course you are, Tim, and you, Sally. All right, make up, lads. What's been smashing up that tower? Didn't you feel giddy? No. Still, I'm glad it wasn't a real fire. Hey, take it easy. Sorry, Dad. I should hope so. Give me some turps and a rag. You three look very pleased with yourselves. What have you been up to? Bob went on the HP. On the what? He means the hydraulic platform, Dad. Oh, uh, you and that fire station. I wonder you don't take your beds and sleep there. I'll put the kettle on, you get the teapot. I was. I came home for the tea. You got anything I could put this in? Oh, I don't know, love. Somewhere, I expect. Do you need it now? It's very important. The firemen are waiting for it. Oh, are oh, they? We met those men soon. In fact, they were able to get up their ladders. Um, here you are. Have this if you like. Oh, great. Harefield Gardens. And the name? Hello? Alarm call, sir. Harefield Gardens. Hey, what's about? Didn't say so, just gave an address. I wish people would give proper detail. All right, sound the alarm. It's a turnout! Oh, Bob, well, before you go. Oh, well, Mum! Don't butt them on me. Is that all right? milk, Mum. Thanks. Well, that's the third you've borrowed this week. Can't I just. No, you can't. I want you to take this round to the gas company. Gas yes, company? And yes. don't forget that they shut at 12. 12. Now yes. they must get it today. Today, or yes. they'll shut the gas off. Shut the gas off. Yes, okay. Bye, Mum. Tibbles, look. He's got up there and he won't come down. All right, madam, don't worry. We'll soon have him down. All right, Jordan, feel like a little life-saving? Uh, just about, sir. Little Tiddles is calling for you. Right, sir. I do wish people wouldn't waste the fire brigade's time. After all that, it's only a stupid old cat. I thought it'd be something much more exciting, like a real fire. You wouldn't find fire so exciting if it was your house that was burning. Sorry, Mr. Harrison, I didn't mean to. No, no, I know you didn't. There you are, madam. Thank you, young man. Oh, naughty tibbles. All right, oh, lads, make up and uh, back to the station. Can I just have that tea, Mr. Harrison? It'll only take a minute. Oh, well, I suppose if I said no, I'd have a mutiny on my hands. Thanks! Hey! Hold it. Whatever is that? It's a cake. I made it myself. How are your teeth today, Chris? Lucky I sharpened them this morning. <laughs> Lord, I've forgotten. I've got to go to the gas company. Here. Let's serve us a bit of cake, Sal. Okay. 